Hey friends, welcome to my kitchen. And guess what? Today I'm going to show you a super fun experiment that you can do at home. It's called dancing corn and it takes a few simple ingredients and we're going to make a chemical reaction happen and watch corn dance. So check out my next video and watch what happens. To do this experiment at home, you'll just need a few things. You'll need a big glass jar or mason jar. You'll need water, and you can get that right from your sink. There's my sink over there. You will need some vinegar, white vinegar works best. You will need baking soda, and you will need some popcorn. Now this is popcorn that has not been popped yet. We'll open it up and you'll see that it looks just like corn seeds. And the biggest thing I highly recommend is putting a big giant rimmed cookie sheet on your countertop before you do this experiment. And if you don't have a rimmed cookie sheet, do it in the sink, okay? So here we go, let's, let's have fun. Okay, to start this experiment, it's pretty easy. Get your jar and put it on your cookie tray. Make sure it has a rim around it because we're going to start a chemical reaction and we don't want it to spill all over our counter and not be prepared. So rimmed cookie sheet, glass jar. Fill the glass jar with approximately two cups of water. Quite a bit. And that should be plenty. Then you need two tablespoons of baking soda. This is that white powdery stuff. Looks kind of like this baking soda. And you're going to put two tablespoons of baking soda into your water, just like that. Oh, and look at that. It turned the water from clear to white. But as you see, it settles down, it starts to dissolve. But we're going to use a spoon and stir it up a little bit so that it dissolves a little bit more. We're making a baking soda water solution as our first part of our chemical reaction. Remember I said this was a dancing corn experiment. So we are going to use our popcorn, which looks like these little kernels, just like this. You can see they're little kernels. It looks a little bit different than regular corn. This is the corn that you would use to make popcorn. And we're going to pour our popcorn kernels into the jar, just like that. Okay, get them all in. And then how about we give it another stir? So now we have a solution of baking soda, water, and popcorn kernels. Now we're going to make the magic happen. We're going to use our white vinegar. Now vinegar is an acid and it reacts with baking soda, which is an alkaline. And when the two get together, they're not such great friends. They kind of have a big angry explosion happen because they really don't like each other. So let's get a little cup out and you don't need very much vinegar, maybe about an eighth of a cup or a fourth of a cup. And remember, you can do this over and over and over again to create the reaction. Are you ready? What do you think is going to happen? Do you think it's just gonna stay like this? Or do you think something's gonna happen inside? I don't know, let's see. Ready? Three, two, one. Dump the vinegar in. Look, there's that chemical reaction we were talking about. And what do you see happening? Do you see the kernels of corn going up and then falling down like they're dancing in the water? Look at that. Hmm, let's put a little more vinegar in. Watch a big reaction happen. And voila, we have dancing kernels. Whoa, wait a second. I'm hearing this. Can you hear that noise? Are you hearing that same sizzle? Let me put the camera up here, see if you can hear that sizzle. Are you hearing that sizzle? 
it's a really quiet noise, but you can see there's bubbles happening in here. Look at that. There's bubbles and those bubbles are what is the chemical reaction? The baking soda and vinegar mix together and remember they don't like each other. So they create all these reactions happening and it's making these bubbles and the bubbles are pushing the corn to the top. When it gets to the top, something's happening. The air bubbles are popping and the corn is falling back down. Do you see that? You can see some coming up and then you see some going down. Yeah, that's a chemical reaction. Let's pour a little more vinegar in, see what else happens. My goodness, that chemical reaction keep, keeps, keeps happening over and over and over again the more vinegar we put in. Remember, you just need to put a little bit of vinegar in at a time to keep the chemical reaction going. And watch that corn dance up and down, up and down, right in the jar. It's kind of amazing what you can do just with a few simple ingredients at home. I hope that if you get to do this science experiment at home, that you will tell me all about it. Tell me, did your corn dance? Did you hear the sizzling noise of the chemical reaction? Did you see the bubbles? Wow, pretty exciting. Have fun giving this one a try at home. So, hey friends, I hope you have lots of fun watching that science experiment, and I hope you get a chance to try it at home. I have to say that I've left the jar for almost 25 minutes and didn't touch it, and guess what? The corn is still dancing in there. I thought this was super fun and cool to watch. It might be kind of cool to even add a little bit of food coloring to see how the food coloring moves around. I think that would extend this science experiment a little bit. And I wanted you to know that if you don't have corn kernels at home, you can also use raisins or small dried beans. It should have the exact same effect. I hope you had fun doing this. And if you did this at home, please make sure that you send me a picture because I would love to see how you guys did it at home. Have fun.